Hey everyone, Trickisty here, and today I'll do a quick tutorial on how to create your own bot. So this might become a small series of videos, or I'll just get everything in one video in 15 minutes. So yeah, so let's get right to it. So I created a form in Coda. I pasted it in here. Uh, which looks like this pretty simple you got your run and close button yeah so first of all we need a case then the name so start and now we need and now we want to um, write the function so let's create a login so first of all We wanna da, 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 create it. Uh, create the passwords. For that, we'll do local, and now a number. Or if you type in a number, you type it in like that. If you type in a word, you have to use. Do it like that. If you want number and words. Can do it like that then and a number okay so we'll just do numbers for now so let's do zero zero one okay got the passwords pretty simple but Oh well. Next step, we want to create the login bar input thingy, whatever it's called. So for that, new variable password equals in input box title login. password uh... Two thirty one twenty. sure close the bracket now we're gonna create an if statement so if password equals pv1 or password equals pv3 uh, 2 pw pw I mean yeah pv whatever or password okay so if the password equals this or this or this then Okay, so what this is now, uh, it creates a message box. This is the code for uh, if it has an OK button, cancel, retry. This is just OK button. And what it does on the top, it will, uh, kind of hard to explain. Um, you'll see in a sec. Uh, the top text in correct so it will print the correct password on top one space 
Nope. Okay, so once we did that, now what is if you enter the wrong password? So for the if statement, we have to create an else statement. And I can't even type else right. Else. Oh. Forgot something. Do a quick sleep. And then it will go off. Uh, to the next function, which will we name bot. Don't forget the brackets. Else, Okay, so it creates a message box uh, with a little orange flaggy thing. Prints the it prints whatever you typed into the input box. It says it's incorrect. This password is a little incorrect. There we go, and then it will just sleep and exit the program. Voila. Okay, so next case would be the close button. This is pretty easy. Don't forget the dollar. Cause I need dollar dollars what I need. Exit. Ah yes, uh, I forgot the end the if statement. Um, did a typo here. This should actually be run. Okay, so if we now start, hit run. It will create this input box, the password um, zero zero two. Password is correct. And what this and password, it prints the password up here and says correct. The password is correct. Okay. Done. Yeah, we haven't created the, uh, this function yet. We'll come to that later. Now, what if I enter the wrong password? 004. 004, incorrect. This password is incorrect. And it closes the program. Okay. So, what's next? Well, we'll create a function under the name bot. And let's just keep it simple. Let's create a mouse move, mouse click. So, mouse, mouse move x and y for this open your auto it window info just like that and click anywhere on your screen and these will be the coordinates two ways you can do this you can just go ahead and do 571 Two, five, three, and then the speed. The sleep. And then mouse click left. And 
and then end func. Or you can create two. Or if all this number jumble is. If you have longer scripts, all these numbers and everything, it's kind of a hassle if you want to change a coordinate, you have to go back, search the exact uh, movement thingy, and yeah, it's annoying. So go ahead and create a local. Okay, and then you just enter. Just like that, if you don't do a typo. And yeah. So, once you have longer scripts, or you want to use this variable again you can just use it again yep so let's go ahead and try it mouse moved and clicked okay so now, something very important, before the while statement, add a hotkey, escape, which will equal close. <coughs> Then down here, create a function under the name close and exit. Simple as that. So if you now open the script, um, yes, and func. So if you now open the script, run password mouse moves, you hit escape, it will close. Never forget that. Okay, so this is part one. Hope you liked it. Comment, rate, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. More parts will come, so stay tuned.